Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, by the grace of God, I'm doing good. Doing good. My name is Albert Asante. Uh, Albert Asante. That's what my father gave me. Albert. Actually, the Asante is the family name. And he gave me Albert. My mother wanted me to be called Emmanuel because she said God has been with her since her lifetime difficulties in every aspect of her life god has never given up on her so she wanted me to be called emmanuel god is with us that's the thing but since the father is the head of the family she has sent the albert so they call me I'm from Enum. I was born in a town called Enum, also Enum, around Volta region in El Superman district. is closer to the Volta region. That's where I was born. That's where I'm from. That's where I schooled. So I came to the city. So I do go. Uh, who am I? As I said earlier, Albert Asante or Nana Komne Asante. I'm a guy, I'm a kind of a person that I love to be loved and I love everything around me. I believe in love. Yes. I think love is the key for human can unite. It depends on love. Before human can achieve everything together, it depends on love. Because in the Bible, do let us understand that for God so loved the world, that his son is only begotten son. Because of that love that he had for us, he made that kind of great sacrifice just to wash away our sins, just to have access to him. So I believe in love. And I'm love, and love is me. So, I'm love. Yes. Oh, life so far. I wouldn't say life is good. And I wouldn't say life is bad. I'll give it 50-50. Because life will not be good for you. There will be some challenges sometimes. But in my part and life so far, I would say it's 50 50. The good is 50, the bad is 50. And I'm okay with that because the bad, the challenges, the problems, the obstacles that I face always strengthens me, give me the, the, the faith to keep on doing what I must do what I have to do yes so when problems comes like this it's an advantage for me it push me harder higher harder and also makes my my ears so sharp to hear God's voice to know his ways and his directions and his rights and his wishes for me so I thank God when challenges come in my life. I took advantage. It corrects me in life as we always say. Life is a lesson that we always learn from life. So it corrects me to take the right path, the right direction and to do the right thing at the right time. So I'm okay when challenges come. <laughs> girlfriend <laughs> I'm not married and I don't have a girlfriend I've lost an angel I wouldn't say what happened but you know in life in human 
life you see sometimes we make mistakes sometimes we think what we know and what we understand is always right when in when in life you think that you are always correct remember you don't learn new things and people don't teach you or people don't open things for you to know because you think you know everything so sometimes you need to I mean relax though even if you know it just be quiet and listen maybe you get something you see um, in relationship um, to me when I love you I'm afraid to lose you so every situation I have to address it when you go wrong I have to address it I have to let you understand that what you did is bad and because I am afraid to lose you sometimes I have to go hard on you to I mean get it down because I think if I don't talk I might lose you but this lady was very close to me we love each other she don't demand she not she's not that kind of girls but you see in human there's a no there's always challenge but all we have to do is to learn how to solve the one challenges come but we shouldn't go on mad we shouldn't think what we know or what we understand is right yes so it's like i always give her pressure on everything that she does and there's a saying i can't she was point and she was like, she can continue with this. No, she loved me, mm. and that was it. But I won't say what happened because we don't air. I won't say what happened actually. But that was it. Though I do love her, but who am I? It's a lesson. There is a lesson today. Younger ones that are coming can learn something small from it don't be so harsh sometimes sit down quietly and observe and the best thing is to speak to God more what you want it to happen in your life just tell God and I think he will direct you yes he will direct you <laughs> that's why I said I won't say what happened. Actually, I won't say what happened. But what I can say is I've lost an angel because I said angel, and you know what angels are for us in our life. They are unique people that protect us. They are unique people. They are fun people. They are good people that I mean guide us, direct us, protect us. That God. So when you see somebody saying angel, what comes into your mind? I mean good angel because Satan has angels. So good angel. So she was an angel to me, but I've lost an angel. I'm praying that whatever she is, God will protect her. God, God will grant her her heart desire. And I'm praying that she will find a good husband. I have three siblings. siblings. We, we have four actually. Two females and two males. The females are the ugly ones and we are the younger ones. Actually, I'm the last one. Um, yes, I'm the last one. Um, yes, my mom is alive. My father is dead and gone. We lost our father when I was 20. 14, six years ago, yes, but my father, wife, our mother is alive, and we are praying that God will protect her, God will guide her, so that she will enjoy.
joy, the sweat, the sufferings that she had, or the challenges that she has passed through, just to bring forth her children. So we pray for God to give her long life, so that the little that we will get, she can enjoy it from it to a greater cause. Her Thank you.